The first step to an effect like this is adding as much water inside your actual shot as possible. That little extra will mean the difference between this and this. Those small areas of water do help sell the final effect. However, let's take this shot here. This has this glistening floor, but otherwise this isn't gonna do us any favors. And there is a few main things to keep in mind for this shot, like roto on our actors so we can place rain behind them. It's also a moving shot, so we'll do a motion track. And we can see the ground in the shot, so we're gonna need to comp in some rain surface interaction there. To add in the actual rain, we'll need stock footage, which assets like these are usually shot with a black background. So to get rid of that, we're gonna set each layer's blending mode to screen, link to our null, which has our tracking data. Then using a curves effect, we're gonna add some contrast here to define the raindrops and remove that flat look. But like I said at the top, while I do think we made this work, you really want genuine interaction on your talent. We're getting away with it here because they're largely in shadow, but if they were fully lit, this would not work at all. So if you're planning to add rain in post, make sure to wet down the area you're shooting in as much as possible and hit your talent with some hose water so you can fully sell the effect.